how to control the depth of your preparation part two. And we were in photo number three. And just as a reminder, in photo number three, I have done three horizontal depth cutting guides within these teeth. Now, don't forget, tooth number eight is darker than tooth number nine, so I have to have more reduction on tooth number eight in order for me to hide that intense or, or high color that the tooth actually has. So let's go to photo number four, and in photo number four, you are seeing now that I have made all these horizontal lines come together. I have flattened them down using a diamond burr, and you can also appreciate that I have reduced more on the facial of tooth number eight compared to tooth number nine. Again, tooth number eight is the dark tooth, the one that I want to really be able to mask with my ceramic restoration. So now let's go to photo number five. And in photo number five, I have completed the preparation of both teeth eight and nine, and they're both now, I've completed also the immediate dental sealing of both of these substrates. Now, right after that, we're gonna remove the rubber dam, we're gonna scan these teeth, and we're gonna send them to the lab for the fabrication of the final restorations. What is the outcome that we are expecting? And that's where we go to photo number six. We are expecting that the thickness of the crown on tooth number eight was able to mask that very dark color or substrate that the actual tooth had. And that's the final result that we are seeing on photo number six. I hope that you enjoyed this tip and I hope to see you again during our next video. Thanks for watching.